After enduring poor working conditions at the Clarence A. Bain building for many years, employees of the Department of Labor are now in a new facility on Rosetta Street. Oladon Davis talked to the Labor Director and employees on the move. The new state-of-the-art labor facility located in the old City Market building on Rosetta Street is a welcoming environment for customers seeking job opportunities and other labor services. Director of Labor Robert Farkasen says a new facility will have many new accommodations. We moved in the Clarence building 44 years ago and, and today we are very pleased that we are able to offer both members of the general public and our staff um, world-class accommodations. Um, we have um, the Public Employment Services Unit has here. We have the industrial relations unit that's stationed here, and we have the, the inspection unit that's stationed here. In addition to that, we're in the process of, of facilitating our one-stop shop here, where um, any member of the general public can come into the Department of Labor, can have access to computers, can print resumes, can search for jobs online, and be able to uh, be interviewed. We have a training room where we can train them how to be interviewed, what to say when they're going to interview, how to dress, how to present yourself. That's the idea of the world-class facilities here at the Department of Labor. The second floor of the facility will accommodate students from the Eugene DePuge Law School. The Clarence A. Bain building was the old home of the department and sustained major damages due to Hurricane Matthew. That building is set to be allocated for dormitory facilities at the University of the Bahamas. The significant improvement for the department has also wowed the almost 60 employees who have endured working under unhealthy conditions for nearly five decades. A few of them say this new move is like a breath of fresh air. The atmosphere is nice and the executive and some majority of the staff and all the staff are very friendly and I like the new transition. So how do you feel about the, I guess, the old building? The old building was moldy and the cost is food, but it's a big transition so I'm excited. This is plush, this is state of the art, it's comfortable, you know, the air condition is working. I to be out of there and thank you for Matthew. We was coming, but Matthew bought us earlier, so it's heaven. Because I was sick, I had, I, um, I was sick with, with pneumonia because I had mold from working in the building. We're so old, but now I'm here, I'm breathing a fresh air. It's good, it's good, it's good. Wow. You know, um, it was like a dream. Uh, we, we always heard that it would occur, but we weren't sure when. And so when we finally got the word that we were going to move, we were elated. And uh, our arrival here, we were ecstatic. The Department of Labor is strongly considering tapping into the Creole market and will work along with the University of the Bahamas to train its staff. LaDon Davis, ZNS Network News.